Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome once again to a discussion about the 2021 Summer Anime Series season. Yeah. Today, we will be talking about another isekai because they're very popular this season. We're, of course, talking about The Dungeon of Black Company. And this is quite a unique isekai. Uh, it centers around Kinji, a man who had basically lived in our world and gotten to the point where he never had to work another day in his life from, you know, investing and doing real estate and all that kind of stuff. And now he gets sent to another world and basically is forced to become a corporate slave, uh, a mining slave. If that. So he has to do manual labor and stuff like that just to uh, survive. And he gets a bunch of debt and all that kind of stuff occurs. And so he's like forced to come up with schemes and stuff to try and uh, basically get rich and get to the point where he was at in his previous life, which was never having to work again. And that's his goal. His goal is to like never have to work again in his life and just live a nice and easy life. However, it does not go smoothly for him. So in this uh, this other world, everyone else is like a monster kind of thing. There's not really any humans. There's like a couple, but they're not really human humans, as you would think. Um, they have like magical abilities and stuff like that. Um, and they're very few. There's like maybe four who are like actually human that I can think of. Uh, everyone else is like elves or like lizard men, um, like you can see in the picture here, or they're like demon-like kind of things. Uh, but anyway, the premise is in this world, uh, there's companies that own these dungeons uh, and essentially they send in workers to mine this demonite ore which is very expensive uh, and sold for a lot and they harvest it and they also have uh, groups that go in and like clear further areas of the dungeon to make it safer for the miners to uh, mine the demon ore um, and so what Kinji does is of course through being a dick and being a jerk and using underhanded methods attempts to get a lot more demon ore, or demonite ore than anyone else and sell it for profit and kind of take over and start his own company and do this all kind of weird stuff. It, it's a very interesting concept. Uh, it's got some nice combat and stuff in it, although that's kind of not the focus here. It's mostly about like his uh, method to tame the dungeon and like use people and manipulate them to earn profit and stuff like that. So he has to do not work very hard. Uh, but it really gives you an interesting perspective on like the capitalist society on uh, how the corporate overlords will like use and abuse their like underlings for profit and they don't give a shit about them and uh, what they can do is like try to like brainwash them and make them be like your life for the company and all that kind of stuff to make them, you know, work harder and stuff for like poor piss poor wages. Uh, but yeah, it's a very interesting uh, concept for an isekai, I would say. Uh, and the ending is perfectly close ended. Um, so if you're looking for an isekai that, uh, one sec, uh, that you can, you know, watch and that won't have like a stupid, uh, oh, they're going to go do something else now, the end. Look for a season two that never comes or comes like years and years later. Uh, this is your one because it's not, it doesn't seem like it's going to have a second season. It ended in a way that it did not need a second season. Uh, so if you're looking for just like a, a one and done isekai, this is your one. Make sure to check it out. I quite thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, it was entertaining watching uh, Kinji Ninomiya's antics as he uh, used and abused his way to the top, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out The Dungeon of Black Company if it seems like it's up your alley. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And that'll be all for today's, everyone. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.